Yo, what up, people? All right, this video is by Bird Plan. This is a great video. You should watch. You should subscribe. You should click the bell like I just did. Um, this is a video. There's this thing about ATVs. Uh, police really have a boner for people on ATVs. Even I was stopped on an ATV once because I drove it across uh, a 10 foot wide road in the middle of the country. So they use that for probable cause to, to pull me over and ID me. So just watch this because this is a good demonstration of police mentality in this country. Want to give us priority? Chasing an ATV. D. San Rosini from uh, Reno. It's a red uh, quad, black male, black shirt. Coming up to Regent. DPD's coming right at him. <laughs> Through Regent. Moments before this ATV slammed into the back of a parked truck, it was being chased by Michigan State Police, their bumpers just feet apart. So what happened there is the cop actually shot his taser at the kid on the ATV, and the kid crashed into the back of a truck. After the crash, as we cut to a different angle, you'll notice the state trooper's overhead lights appear to be off. Start EMS. EMS will be on the way. Based on the time code we've added, 24 seconds elapsed before the first flash of lights. That coincides with the first Detroit police officers arriving. Yeah, he's got a pulse and he's breathing. He's unconscious. Clear. Two more Detroit police officers approach. Oh, nine, he slowed down. We tased him and he crashed out. We tased him and he crashed out. You know, no big deal. Those words come from Mark Bessner. He's the trooper accused of firing his taser from a moving vehicle. It's a violation of department policy. And he says we instead of I. No, it was you. There was no we. Man, this eighth grader was riding an ATV and I had to blue line him. That's what I had to do. We had to blue line him. Moral support for the officers now. The footage you're watching comes from dash cams, body cams, and security cameras. State police didn't give us dash cam videos from the car involved in the chase or from one in a nearby Detroit police car. They also blurred images of the body. Tony, his pulse is weakening. What's our ETA? Body MS. His pulse is weakening. I'll find out. You can put MSP 2240 out. 2240, you're out. 1735. He's breathing, yeah? Same and grind. Grind? Grind. That's really nice. That's not good. Can you give a mask out of this? You just said and Rossini. EMS is coming from Gratiot and Houston Whittier. Don't, uh, don't run from the state police. You'll get fucked up. Don't run from the state police. You'll get fucked up. That's what that cop just said. You want to check both of them? Yeah. He had a 
strong pull. Yeah, we got here. Back. It's real faint. I had to wipe his face a little bit and get that feel with the mask. I got blood on the desk. I can't use this right here. Hey, uh, units and data. We'll see the aggressive. Uh, Medic should be pulling up in less than a minute. Come get over here, for Christ's sake. Come on, fellas. Is that his phone? Yeah, yeah. As EMS arrives, several Detroit police officers turn off. That kid will never answer his phone again. Off their body cameras. Now the cops start turning off their cameras. Why? Why would all these cops just start turning off their cameras? Because it's time to talk to each other. It's time to see what's going on and how we're going to handle all this stuff. One, two. But one officer activates hers. The non-fully corrupted cop activates her camera. Okay, so everyone turns off their camera. This uh, woman police officer turns hers on, goes and asks this cop, should we give him an escort? And this cop immediately says, hell no, with hatred. We got, we got license items. Yeah. We only do that for police. Okay. Oh, uh, we only do that for sovereign citizen police. We only do that for police, he says. We don't do that for uh, scumbag eighth graders who had the nerve to ride an ATV in America. I don't know. He's, he said if an officer gets shot, we'll do that. About 10 minutes after the crash, Damon Grimes is taken to St. John Hospital. Doctors pronounce him dead on arrival. He was 15. That's a grown ass guy. He's 15. He's 15. Type 5 1. Where's his mom at? She's a bad ass this week. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. This cop just is hating on this 15 year old kid. I have no sympathy for this shit. Motherfucker wanna be grown. Ya wanna ya act grown. Ya gotta get ya gotta fucking deal with it. This is a police officer. I'll fucking deal with it. Go back 10 seconds here. What happened? What happened? They taste his ex wife's driving cost him to flip the mm -hmm. Michigan State Police condemned Trooper Besner's actions, calling them criminal. He resigned from his job and now faces charges of second degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. Well, he actually uh, got arrested. That's great. I didn't want to wash the blood off. His job and now faces charges of second degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. I didn't want to wash the blood off. The Grimes family filed a lawsuit following the teen's death. He was just days shy from beginning his freshman year of high school. Unbelievable. 15 years old, killed by the state police. Unbelievable. Our final piece of audio comes from a canvas of the neighborhood conducted after the incident. Two Michigan State Police investigators talk about their conversations with residents. Um, this last chick that I just entered, 
gets it. She's a couple years younger than me. She's like, he drives around here recklessly all the time. Why didn't he just stop? She's like, all these people in here are wanting to talk about protesting the police. He, he drives this neighborhood recklessly all the time. Why didn't he just stop? Mm -hmm. I know. It's what we say, but people don't feel that way at times for whatever reason. So, Yeah, two people made bad decisions on this one. Yeah, and that's what I, that's what I told people. I said, look, I'm on date. It could have been handled differently on both sides, as far as I'm concerned. And had I been out here chasing him, I, I'm not judging by what he did. So that sounds like a cop doing some cop explaining there at the end. So this is so riding a four wheeler in America, the free country of America, can get you killed by police. Okay, calling the police can get you killed. I say that all the time, and but people still insist. Who are you going to call when they murder your whole family? Why would I call them? Can they bring my family back to life? Anyway, the this kid might be a bad 15-year-old. He might be reckless. He might be, might be everything. So why isn't one of the options, he doesn't want to stop. The police want him to stop. Why isn't one of the options just wait till he gets home? Since you guys know who he is, Damon Grimes, go to his house. And talk to his parents and talk to him and uh, tell him he's being reckless. And if he doesn't, then, then you go from there. You don't tase somebody. Oh, my God. There you go. And the title is, It took nine months to obtain this footage of a cop taking the life of an eighth grader on his four-wheeler. Uh, subscribe to this person because that's a lot of work they did on this video. Because I've seen the raw footage and he or she had to do a ton of work to make it look this good in seven minutes and 45 seconds. So subscribe to Bird Plan. Subscribe to me. Go to my eBay and Etsy because these type of videos, YouTube won't let me monetize for some reason. So please like, subscribe, Bird Plan, and, and me and people who do this kind of work. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace and chicken grease. Bye.